viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. There's a Jeep Liberty here. Evidently the passenger side window is messed up. Lady told me when she tries to move it up or down a little cable pokes out top of the glass so she stopped using it. Uh, personally I haven't even tried it because I don't want it to fall down and break. So we're going to pull the door panel off see what it looks like. Sounds like the regulator is bad but let's have a look. Screw down inside this door pole. It looks like a pretty simple door to take apart. Take this screw here on the door pole. And we'll see. There's a little cover here behind the handle. Hopefully. That's got a little plastic cover that goes over it. That's it. Some doors you have to pull up on. I don't think we're missing anything, so we'll have a look behind the door. We can get in here. Suckers get pretty old and brittle. So don't be surprised if a couple break. Try not to break them. Way at the top. Sometimes I'll put them suckers right in the middle too. You know, way in the middle of the doors. Yep, they did on this one. There's one right about here. you get it all up in there you really can't do much with it. So oh man. Boy. Usually 
these uh, locks unscrew, but that one doesn't. It doesn't appear to unscrew easily. The struggle's real. The struggle of not wanting to break anything. Trying to feel if there's another retainer in there. I'm not getting. It sucks when they put them at the top like that because you got to pull so far out on the door panel. Hey. All right. I thought I saw one go flying. show you. Oh, let's just jump in the bottom of the door. There it is, panels off. So what do you got? One, two, three. And these are the pain in the butt ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one down here towards the bottom that is still in the door. It makes a terrible sound coming out, but this is what the little guys look like. And they snap in there quite tightly and when you put them back in your door they just click in like that and then to unhook the door handle you just have this little retainer here so the rod goes up in it rod sits this way then this clicks over on the rod so you just pretty much snap it off excuse me snap it off the rod and pull it down and then unplug the door lock i thought i seen and it hurt something go zinging Back there. Let me go get it. Oh, it goes right up here in the top. Thought I'd seen one go flying, but so as bad as they sound when they come off, they're actually pretty resilient. Now the only piece I see that broke was the female half. So here's a little piece that goes on that. Now that's not gonna change its effectiveness, so I'm not too worried about it. But these ones, unlike regular Christmas trees, they actually have. I don't want to push it in because these things lock in like crazy. Uh, you can see they have the ribs on them. It's ribbed. But not for its pleasure, it's ribbed because that's what retains it. So when you push them in, they just kind of lock in. When you pull them out, man, they just make a hell of a snap. But you can see we got it out with no casualties. I'm sure it sounds horrid. Horrid. On, on the old YouTube. She described it though, it did sound like she had a bad window regulator. So when the cable pops up through the glass, that ain't good. So we'll just slowly pull on this little guy. black stuff they stick it on with is pretty sticky. So be warned. We'll just let that sit there. It looks like our motor. I don't think we gotta pull it with that door speaker down here. Yeah I don't think we have to take the speaker out for any reason. Because it looks like two bolts for our motor and three bolts for the regulator. Feel the cable. Where in the thunder is it? Maybe we should roll the window up and down. But I see the chatter marks on it. Look at the top. Oh yeah. No cables hanging out up here. Let's see what it does. Like a little snake. So it works, but 
the uh, cable housing is broke. Which is right here. That ain't good. We'll get a little closer look once we get it torn apart. One thing we need to know is where does it have to be to unhook the glass. I think that is in the downward position perhaps. Oh, wrong one. So we'll leave it right there, so convenient that it works. We'll shut the key off, grab the 10 mil. So it looks like, probably, oh, good. <laughs> good thing the bottom of the door is rusted out. The little clip just fell out, so these are gonna be the clips that hold the glass on, it appears it is. So these go in each end of the regulator, you'll see the, See it's sticking out right here, so we're gonna pull the other one out. If the bottom of your door is not completely rotted so they fall right out, don't do that. Don't drop it on the inside. We're gonna need a magnet, we'll do a little fishing. Gotta be in here somewhere. Nope, just some rust. Where'd you go, little fella? There it is. A little bit more rust. So, a couple clips there now. Theoretically, we should be able to remove the glass. Set them down. Let go back or out far enough. You no, know, maybe we'll take it. Uh, wonder. get something I got a wedge we'll wedge the glass or we'll suction cup it to the top because otherwise it's going to want to keep falling down and I don't think yeah we can probably just wedge it there for right now we'll just wedge it shouldn't take us long to change this a couple screws on the bottom one up top here they're kind of keyweighed, so I don't believe we have to take the bolts all the way out. Same thing for the motor. They're also keyweighed. So just crack them loose. Then there's going to be a plug in for this motor somewhere. Because I doubt he'd wire this. creature on here, see where things are. That's the speaker. I don't know if we're going to be enough wire on this to pull it out or if you got to unhook it inside the door. Feels like it's pretty short wire. Well, this should be fun. Oh, guess what? It's got a red lock on it too. That is freaking handy. Pretty sure. We probably should get a light. Oh yeah, it's got a red lock. out to see it. There, got her unplugged. show you guys some of this stuff once we uh, get it out. That must be 
the expansion tube to allow the cable to come down into it. Doors sort right out on the bottom, we could almost pull it straight through. There's the broken, the broken tube. Too bad the motor's still good. But anyhow, there it is. Now, I'll show you the connector. So there's our connector. That's where it lives, and it has this little lock or little release tab right there. You just push that to get it unhooked after you slide the little red lock to the side. So there's that, and then right here. What's up, Mrs. O? It's out of focus. Focus, there it is. What's up? Talk to us. <laughs> Anything? You leaving? Here, get the children. Okay. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. All right. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And then here is our little uh, retainer that holds the plastic expansion tube, we call it, right there. May come with a new one. I don't know. The old and with the new, as they say. I think that's what they say. They made this whole thing out of plastic now instead of metal. Of course, this is the Taiwanese version. Let's see, everything else looks about right. Which way do we want to go in? Some new ones. Using these old hand tools. Come on, little fella. Alright, there's two for right now. So we'll get the motor. Get our little tube here. Down in there. It's pretty much like taking it out. Just a good old fashioned video. The whole door seal is just. 
is hanging off it now because the bottom of the door just fell off. People ask me why I spray my truck with Crown. Mm-hmm. I don't know what year this thing is, 05 maybe? I don't know. She toast. I don't really care for about aftermarket uh, window regulators is the fact that the connector on the on the motor is usually hangs off the pigtail. So where'd my last bolt go? Did anybody see that? And so you have to be careful with that pigtail, you know, where do you put it? You don't want to get it chopped off. You don't want to chop it off. What in the thunder did I do with that freaking bolt? Three, one, two, not three. I'm gonna be looking for the next hour. I spent 20 minutes looking for a bolt that I never took out of the old regulator. Awesome. Oh gosh. TGIF anyways. A million things get done. down factory specs I mean that the connector does hang off from this you want to make sure it's not hanging anywhere where it's going to get pinched if you can buy an OEM one this this thing wasn't even worth an aftermarket one to be honest with you but I can show you this, but I can't see it myself. So there's our connector. There's a connector for this motor, which is way at the top. It's a really piss poor setup. I probably can take the speaker out and get it, get it through there, but I think. Stick my new one on here. Oh, we 
gonna have to make sure this connector is back out of the way. It's like I say, it does hang off a wiring harness now instead of clicking, you know, instead of plugging directly into the motor. There is another wiring harness back in here. We may have to reach in here and zip tie that. The classic one-handed zip tie move. Push it back out of the way for right now. We'll make sure it works. All right, should be good. Kind of the handy part about this. Just take your light right back out of the bottom of the door. I don't think it's going to last long with all the dirt and stuff going up in the bottom of the door, but not my call. All right, keys on. Feels kind of slow. Oh, it wasn't too bad the second time. Maybe everything had to kind of equal out. That's what we'll call it. Or it's an aftermarket to the regulator. Alright, yee haw! I got a zip tie fished in there around the wires. So now, let's see if it's that one. I think, I think, fella. Maybe they both came through the same spot. Pretty sure. Yes, they must have. Days it gets a little frustrating working on the super rusty stuff. It's actually falling apart right in front of your eyes. Sometimes it makes your job very difficult. But you just do what the customer asks within you know limitations anyways. In this case they wanted the window working. So we got it working. Unfortunately. You know, if it comes back and it's all rotted out, you know, because of all the stuff that's going to get up inside the door here, you can't really start covering that kind of stuff under warranty, you know. The door could use a little bit of spray foam. <laughs> I had one guy came in the other day, he had all his whole, his whole fender sculpted out of spray foam. It was pretty genius. I mean, it served no structural purpose, but it looked pretty neat. Uh, he carved it all down and everything, it was pretty cool. Alright, there's that. I'm going to wash my patties. We'll stick the door back on. Oh yeah, so this lock button does thread on, but I don't, know. I don't want to break it, so we'll just leave it. It's much 
more enjoyable putting them back in. Oh, but if you do break them on the way out, no big deal, you can buy those. Usually, you know, usually get them at the parts store, they'll have a mixed assortment of sorts. in behind your door handle. Everything's a little bit stiff in this whole thing. Make sure it works. Well, that still works. There's a yellow phone. It'll go a little faster when I start the vehicle. I'm sure the battery's getting down. What's up, Trina? What? Huh? What? Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? How's school today? Good. Good? Why are you staring at me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> What'd you do at school? What'd you learn? Anything? What? I forgot. <laughs> you forgot what you learned? Then why are you going to school, man? What'd you do to your finger? You got a band-aid? No. Let's yes. see. Yes, there's Let's see it. Oh dang, what happened? I don't know. Just start bleeding or what? No, it has like a cut right here. Oh, it's got a cut? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Alright, say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Alright, well we got that figured out. They went to school and learned nothing, same as me. I'd start it up and show you that uh you know, the increased battery voltage will speed up that window, but I just fixed the money light on this thing and I've got to drive it through a drive cycle so I don't want to start it and ruin that chance. Well, the backlighting kind of sucks right here. Maybe I'll close this clear piece of glass and improve that. No, it didn't. But, got a sunroof that helped. Nope. We'll leave it at that. The window is now operational. And that's good and that's all the customer wanted. I thought I'd bring you folks along to help with this mundane everyday task of stuff I do and keep me from getting bored silly and provide you with a little bit of education, insight, and a small amount of entertainment at the same time. At any rate, down below leave your questions, comments, and criticisms. We appreciate all of them. Find us on our socials, which only include Google Plus and Facebook, so don't look too far. And we're also on Patreon. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.